Hi, my name is Kate. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to upload your filter from Spark AR Hub to your Instagram or Facebook account. I already have video like this in the very beginning of my YouTube story, <laughs> but right now Spark AR Hub has changed. So I think this video can be helpful for someone. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Once you've finished your filter, go here, upload. Then make sure that your project meets all the requirements. If you click here, show details, you'll find that we have four megabytes for Instagram and 10 for Facebook. My filter meets all the criteria, so I can click here, export, and export my file. Once your project is exported, you'll get this file. Um, it has AR export format. We will work with this one. This one, it's the just a project file, although you can open both these files inside Spark AR Studio. It is better to open AR Proj file to work and use AR export files only for export, only for uploading. Your next step is to open Spark AR Hub. Find the link below to open it. To open this page, you need to log in to your Facebook page and connect your Instagram and your Facebook accounts. Again, if you didn't do this, and if you don't know how to do this, you'll find all this information down below. So here you have all your effects, the approved one and uh, the ones which are still in a review, like this, for instance. Right now, it takes, <laughs> I don't know, it takes weeks for Spark AR review team to review filters but I hope the situation will improve very soon. So to publish new effect, click here. I will guide you through all this process, although the process is quite straightforward. So the first part is to choose which platform you need, where you want to post your new filter. So I select Instagram and now I can see this phone simulator with my account and yeah, I wish I had so many followers, but it's only the simulation. So uh, the next step is our file. We just choose our AR export file. You can click choose file or drag and drop it. Let me just drag and drop it here. Uh, next, we need to create a name. Names shouldn't be promotional in any way. For instance, they shouldn't include Instagram handlers, names of businesses or people. I want to call my effect orange art. Remember that you have 20 symbols limit here. Next, we need to choose the category. And we have a plenty of categories. Uh, you need to think about your effect and decide which category works for you. So, selfies are cosmetic and stylized effects that change someone's appearance, like this and this. Use the love category if your effect contains gestures of love or positivity. Weird and scary category is for weird and scary <laughs> filters, that's all sci-fi and fantasy, like filters like this, animals, it's just, you know, animals, dogs, cats. <laughs> uh, we use the fandom category for showing appreciation of uh, sports teams, entertainment or something else. Cause filters are supporting a movement, for instance, camera styles and color and light, it's quite close categories, although camera styles is more about sketches, about watercolors, uh, and color and light is literally working with colors and light. And then we have events, surroundings, 
funny and moods. So you need to go through all these categories and find your category. In my case, I think, I think color and light works for me. All right, the next step is keywords. We need keywords because people can search for filters inside Instagram and then they type something like um, maybe art. They can find my filter. I also have scratches inside my filter, so it's a good idea to type scratches. Scratches. Okay, and my filter is orange and black and white, so let's add this words. Next, we need to check the owner and the Instagram account. It's correct. Next, uh, we have a demo video here and we need to capture it. To capture a video in Instagram, we first need to open this filter in Instagram. So here we have only upload, only step two available, but we need to capture this video first. So to make this button available, we need to save. Okay. And now this tab is available. I can click here. And here I have this test link. Let's copy it and film a video with my filter in Instagram. Then, when you are happy with your video, click here and save it. Uh, you can use any messenger to send this file from your phone to your computer. And then we can finally click here and upload our demo video. Okay. We need to wait. All right, and now we can see our video here. We can select the thumbnail for it. <laughs> yeah, of course, this one. <laughs> I don't know. I think the first one was okay. Okay, now the next step is icon. I will make another video about icons, how to make them, and what requirements we have uh, for icons. Right now, I just click here and select the icon that I made for my filter. Now I can crop it. Okay, it's done. And now I can see the whole preview, my demo video and my icon and the name of my filter. Next step is visibility settings. So I choose to publish my filter as soon as possible although it will not be soon. Next, review information. Uh, here we need to describe how your filter works. For instance, in my case, it's several LUTs border around a user and scratches. So I'm going to describe it now. All right. Now, if your filter or your account promotes a brand or product, you need to check this box. My doesn't, so I don't need to check this box. Oh, the last part is legal agreement. We don't even need to check boxes. We just click submit. All right, and now we see that our filter is in review and delays in publishing are expected. When the world is normal again, you'll see something like seven to 10 days here. And if you need to change something, you can edit your filter again, although it will reset the estimated review date, which is funny because I even don't have the estimated review date. Uh, come here to Spark Air Hub or maybe in a, in a five or 10 days and check if your filters are approved. Of course, you can also open your Instagram account and check there. But remember, if your filter is not approved, you will not receive a notification. So you need to come back to Spark Air Hub to make sure that your filter meets all the requirements and it wasn't denied. Although even if your filter is denied, it's not a big problem because you also always can change it and submit for review again. All right, guys, it's all for today. 
Thanks for watching. See you very soon.